guys, another episode of Cooking with Kev, episode four. Today, smoked barbecue meatloaf. Now I know what you're thinking, meatloaf can be boring, it can be dry, but no, not, not today, not today. We, we, we got a little special recipe here. Uh, the best part about meatloaf too is you can put whatever you want in it, but we're going with two pounds of ground chuck, 80-20. I think it's important that you do 80-20 and not something super lean kind of helps it kind of form and mold together. Same thing if you're making hamburgers. Don't use the real lean one, you know, get a little bit of fat in there. And then we got a pound of uh, hot breakfast sausage, Jimmy Dean. Um, we're gonna be adding in some uh, some onions. Uh, we got a little bit of jalapeno, which is something I've never tried before in meatloaf. Couple eggs. Uh, you know, a lot of people use bread as like a binder, right? Uh, we use chicharrones or pork rinds. So we, we just blend them up in, the, in a blender, actually. So that's gonna kinda, kinda help kinda form everything together. Uh, Worcestershire, Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Um, obviously we're using some sort of meat chirp seasoning. I do in everything I, I have. Uh, so what we're gonna do today is this, is this will be smoked on the pellet smoker, the Yoder. Uh, temperature about 250. Uh, we'll probably, you know, you wanna get internal temp to about 165 uh, when making a meatloaf. And then we'll be making kind of a, a barbecue glaze that we'll, we'll put on top of it, so. We're looking for a good smoke ring here. It's, uh, I've cooked a lot of meatloafs. I've done bacon wrapped. I've done all kinds. Most of the time it's cooked in the oven. Uh, actually, very few times have I actually smoked a meatloaf. So uh, this idea was inspired by LD. Thank you, LD. And so, yeah. And uh, don't forget, you got to have a beer or something to drink if you're going to be cooking, especially cooking with Kev. All right. Let's get our gloves on here. I actually just kind of mix everything in. Get our jalapeno. Get our onion. Probably not going to use all that. Get use all that. Get your pork rinds. Your chicharrones. Two eggs. Now the one thing that people may not like about making meatloaf is you do got to get your hands dirty. So be prepared. A little Frank's hot sauce. This is a little, little trick. This, might, this, this uh, meal might have a little heat. And then uh, Worcestershire sauce, W sauce. Now I'll put a little seasoning in too. Uh, we're gonna go with the garlic and herb first with the meat church. And then what we'll do after we've kind of formed the loaf too is we will um, put more seasoning and then we're going with just the gospel, all purpose rub from Meat Church. And then there's just a little bit of milk. I don't really measure things, guys. I just assume that anything I'm working with is good enough. Thank you, Aaron. And we'll put a little barbecue sauce just for fun. We are going to come back and do a little glaze with this later. But here's the fun part of making meatloaf, is mixing all this shit up. We just kind of want to get it all mixed up and then we'll kind of form it on the pan to be kind of like a loaf. Uh, like I said, I've done bacon wrapped. That's really good too. It, it can be really messy if you're using bacon though. So yeah, it's, yeah. Kind of get everything kind of, kind of mixed in there. You want a little bit of everything everywhere too. So, you know, you don't want to take one bite and it's just all jalapeno or the next bite's all onion. You kind of have to mix it around pretty good. Squish your fingers through there. You gotta know how to handle your meat. You know, I did see something too, and I'm not gonna do it today, but I saw something on the internet, watching a few videos. That's usually how I do my cooking stuff, man. I just watch videos and, and learn and pick up on tricks, but I've seen guys put this into a loaf and then freeze it for like four hours, where it kind of stays in that loaf shape, loaf shape, and it kind of secures, because that's kind of the key. That's why you put like bread or the pork rinds. You need it to kind of stay, this bowls. Some amount of meat. All right, I think we got it pretty well mixed up. Let's 
get it on this pan to kind of kind of start forming here. I don't want to. You don't want them too compact. You want you want it a little bit fluff. Get that moisture. But yeah, you can kind of do whatever you want, man. You want to make it a different shape. Wiener shaped. Come on now. Here. Mine out the gutter. Look at that. It's pretty good looking, huh? It's kind of what we're gonna do now is we're going to I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a little more Worcestershire on top as like a little binder. Just a little bit and then we're gonna season it. Just a little bit around. And then we're gonna put more of the, the gospel meat church, kind of their all-purpose seasoning. We're gonna kind of give it, give it a decent coat on top here. We're hoping to get a little bit of a bark out of this. Like I said, this is uh, one of the first times I've smoked a meatloaf, so we're kind of all learning together here today. So yeah, we're gonna let that set up a little bit uh, with the seasoning, kind of get in there and sweat it a little bit. The smoker's on, I'm using a, bl a blend of pecan, maple, cherry, uh, pellets on the on the yoder temps at 250 like I said two and a half three hours is kind of my guess on how long this is gonna take um, So yeah, come follow me. We're gonna go outside All right now we're outside again 250 On the smoker right around there. That's a pretty good job maintaining temp I do recommend guys if you do have a pellet smoker and you're gonna smoke something Let it run at the temp you want for about half hour. Make sure it's balanced in that temperature range uh, Double check, make sure there's no airplanes. So we let this marinate uh, overnight, preferably. So let's get this on there. I like to put a little tray when I'm cooking stuff like this. You kind of catch shit so it doesn't like just get down there and burn a little bit. So there's just a little bit of water in there. Just kind of... Should have started a little bit earlier, but it's been a pretty busy day. Kara's been giving me them hangry eyes for about an hour and a half, so you know it's time to cut in this. So this thing's been uh, it's done. I let it rest like 15 minutes. Uh, one thing I did when it was resting is I put a little barbecue sauce, butter, and some seasoning in a pan, and then kind of stuck that out on the smoker. So we'll kind of drizzle this a little bit on top of this. Good to goodness. If you don't like sauce, don't have to do sauce. But we're making a video, so we're doing some sauce. Gonna let that drip down a little bit. Mm. Okay. All right, let's, let's dig in. Let's slice it up. Can you see that smoke? Gotta break up a little bit. Good smoke green going around there. Look at that, that bite. Good. That might be, that might be the best one, it's best meatloaf hard. ever. You're gonna have to find your own dinner tonight. Mm -hmm. All right guys, smoke meatloaf, it's easy. You can do whatever you want topping wise. Uh, I'll post the ingredients we use, the time, temp, all that stuff down below. Don't forget if you haven't, if you're not sub, please hit that button and uh, come check us out. See you next time.